wondering how much shock to add to your pool? In general, you'll want to add one pound of chlorine shock for every 10,000 gallons of water in your pool. But if you're experiencing issues like green water, you'll need to add more. So here's a quick guide on figuring out how much shock to add to your pool. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, what happens when you add shock to your water? Shocking a pool is the process of adding a highly concentrated dose of chlorine to quickly raise the levels of free chlorine in your water. And that high concentration kills things like algae and bacteria and helps break up chloramines. Chloramines are also known as combined chlorine. Combined chlorine happens when free chlorine in your water gets used up after combining with contaminants. Using a chlorine shock like Cal Hypo or Dichlor shock once a week will help kill contaminants and break up any chloramine buildup. You can also use a non-chlorine shock to get rid of chloramines in your pool, but it won't kill algae growth. If you have any more questions about what type of shock is right for your pool, be sure to check out our other video. So how much shock should you add to your pool? A standard dose of chlorine shock is one pound of shock per 10,000 gallons of water, but always double check the product label before adding it to your pool. The goal is to quickly raise your free chlorine levels to at least 10 parts per million or higher. This will increase your free chlorine and decrease your combined chlorine. Your free available chlorine levels should be between one and three parts per million, with three parts per million being ideal. Your combined chlorine levels should be no more than 0.5 parts per million or as close to zero as possible. If you need help understanding how to calculate and test for your combined chlorine, check out our other videos. Now, if your combined chlorine levels are a lot higher, like three parts per million, you'll want to add a double dose of shock. Regular weekly shocking can keep your free and combined chlorine levels in the right place. Just be sure to balance your pH and alkalinity before shocking your water so the shock can work more effectively. And always test your chlorine levels before and after shocking. But how much shock should you add to kill algae? Shocking your pool with a double, triple, or even quadruple dose of shock is the most effective treatment for algae. If you have light green or teal green pool water, this is early stage algae growth. So you'll need to double shock your pool with two pounds of shock per 10,000 gallons. If you have darker green water or significant algae growth, you'll want to triple shock your pool with three pounds of shock per 10,000 gallons. Finally, if you have black, green, or extreme algae growth, you'll need to quadruple shock your pool with four pounds of shock per 10,000 gallons. Remember, only a chlorine-based shock will kill algae. A non-chlorine shock can help refresh your free chlorine levels, but it won't actively combat an algae problem. An algicide won't work to kill a significant algae issue either. It's more effective at preventing algae from happening in the first place. If you need more help getting rid of algae in your pool, be sure to check out our other step-by-step -step video. Can a pool be shocked too much? It is definitely possible to add too much shock, especially if you have a smaller pool. It can take much longer for chlorine levels to drop back down to a safe range if you have less water. So be sure to test your levels after shocking and do not use the pool until the chlorine has dropped back down to a safer range of about three parts per million. Finally, can you use bleach or liquid chlorine to shock a pool? While you can technically use liquid chlorine or bleach to shock your water, you'll have to use a lot more. Remember, your goal is to quickly raise your free chlorine levels to 10 parts per million or higher. So regardless of which type of chlorine that you use, Test your water before and after using a super concentrated dose. And that's it. If you need more help with pool maintenance, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.